Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about uh, solar panels and what kind of happens when you have a 60 watt solar panel and you're figuring, you know what, I kind of want more power, I'm going to go ahead and buy a 100 watt solar panel and connect them together. That way I can get 160 watts. And then why you're not getting 160 watts. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the app for this uh, all power 600 on the screen and you can see that we are getting 40 watts from this 60 watt panel which is pretty good because you know it's probably not angled perfectly and it's like 85 degrees out here so the panel is pretty hot so then I'm thinking okay you know what I'm gonna go ahead and buy a uh, 100 watt panel so let's go ahead and hook that up and see what kind of measurements we're getting there all right I disconnected the 60 watt panel and I'm connecting it to the 100 watt panel all right, now that I've got the 100 watt panel set up, it looks like it's giving me about 74 watts. So in theory, if I connect these two together, uh, I should get 114 watts of power going into my power station. And I know that this power station, it can handle up to 60 volts. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect these MC4 connectors in series and series connect these two panels and that should give me the 114 that I want. All right, let's go ahead and connect everything in series. That'll work. We have our positive and negative is here. Connect this one here. Connect this one here. There we go. Now we have our series connection. All right, our wattage is going up. I'm looking for 114 watts. And we are only getting 100 watts. So we've lost 14 watts from a series connection. Well, oh, it's probably, you know what, I, you know what it is? I bet it's because I don't want them in series, I want them in parallel. That's what, the, that's what the issue is. So let's go ahead and disconnect this and connect it in parallel too. I went ahead and just went out and bought some, uh, some branch connectors. So that mean that way I can get my 114 watts. So let's go ahead and connect these up. Go ahead and connect this up to here from this panel. This panel goes into this one. Okay. And then go ahead and connect the other branch up. There we go. There we go. We got our branch connection. So now we have these parallel, these, now these panels are in parallel. Let's go ahead and connect them up and see what we get. I'm sure it'll be 114 watts. Here we go. All right, now it looks like it's staying steady at 97 watts. So we're actually, we didn't gain any at all. We actually lost a couple of watts. What am I doing wrong? Now, your connections are not what's wrong with this situation. What's wrong with this situation is your different size panels, there's no way they're ever gonna equal out to 160 watts in perfect conditions. Or they'll never equal out is if you add, if you connect this one separately and you add it to when you connect this one separately, they'll never add up to that high of a number of wattage. The reason being, the voltage and the amperage that these panels deliver are completely different. And so when you connect them in series, what you're doing is you're, you're adding the voltage, you're adding the voltage together, but you're keeping the amperage. And now what amperage you're keeping is the lower amperage of the two. So let's see what the voltage and amperage is for both of these panels. This 100 watt panel is 24 volts at five amps. Now, if you multiply that together, theoretically, that should give you 120 watts, but this is only a 100 watt panel, so you're never gonna get that high. So what about this 60 watt panel? The output on this 60 watt panel is 18 volts at 3.3 amps. So you can see right away that the voltage and the amperage for these two panels is different. So what would be the max that you could get 
if you connected them in series using those numbers. What you have to do, you take the two voltages and you add them together. So 24 plus 18, and that equals 42 volts. So then you take 42 volts and you multiply it by the lower of the two panels. So this one has a lower amperage, it's 3.3. So you take 42 times 3.3. And that right there is going to give you a ultimate maximum of 138.6 watts. That's in perfect conditions. That's lab tested conditions. You're never gonna get that anywhere uh, in the outside world. You might get 80 to 85% of that. But what about if you connected it in parallel? Why didn't they work in parallel? Well, let's figure that out. When you connect panels in parallel, what you're doing is you're taking the voltage and you're keeping it the same, but you're adding up the amperage. But you have to take the voltage of the lower panel or the lowest panel if you have more than two. So the lowest panel is 18 volts. And then when you add these two amperages together, which is five plus 3.3, you're getting 8.3 amps. And so you take 18 times 8.3. And that actually gives you a higher number. It gives you 149.4 watts. But still, not 160. And that is saying that this panel is actually a 120 watt panel. The moral of the story is, is if you have two, two panels and they're completely different in wattage when it comes to voltage and amperage, everything, you're gonna see a reduction in your wattage accumulation. All right, I had to come back down into the basement because my camera and my equipment just started melting because it's so hot outside and it's only 85 degrees. But all I wanted to say was if you have any questions about how I hook things up or how I got the results that I did, please go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.